Do you have any New Year's Day traditions? Many people swear by Hoppin' John, a dish of black-eyed peas and rice that the tradition says will bring good luck throughout the new year. I do like beans and rice, but I just didn't grow up with that tradition, so it's never stuck with me. Most years, my mom would make a lasagna for New Year's Day, and my mom's lasagna is really something special. But again, it never really reached that level of tradition by compulsion. Never became the type of every year on autopilot must-have meal, like turkey on Thanksgiving or ham on Christmas. This year, we decided to make a rib roast on New Year's Day, that is to say, prime rib. We served it with twice-baked potatoes and popovers and Caesar salad, and as you might expect with only three of us at home, there was plenty left over. I had plans for those leftovers. Garlic butter and parmesan spread on hoagie rolls and browned under the broiler. Caramelized onions, slices of stillware prime rib piled on the roll and topped with horseradish cheddar. Then I broiled the whole thing again to melt that cheese and heat up the meat. Of course, I used the rib bones that I cut off that rib roast before slicing it to make a jus for serving and roast beef sandwich, prime rib sandwich. I guess most people might call it a French dip. And why not? If you look at the menus at Coles and Philippe's in L.A., the two places that both claim to have invented the French dip sandwich, you'll see there's no prescribed set of ingredients, really. They'll make a French dip with beef or lamb, pastrami or ham, with pork or with turkey. They'll use your choice of cheese, Swiss, American, cheddar, whatever. What makes it French is anybody's guess, but what makes it a dip is, yeah, you dip it into the jus. There are a group of sandwiches across the U.S. and even the world that are served at some level of wetness, with the meat's juices either soaked directly into the bread or served on the side for dipping. Nothing's ever going to knock Chicago's Italian beef out of the top spot for me in that particular sandwich subgenre. But I'll tell you what, I will never turn down a good French dip.